lot of highlight. So I hope you guys are excited to see this. This will be the last video of 2017. I just want to say thank you guys all so much for the support. Thank you for getting me to a thousand subscribers this year. I want to make 2018 my year where I put more into my YouTube channel. So let's hope and get that running soon. Don't forget to follow me on all social media. I have my Instagram and Twitter down below for you guys to follow at. I hope you guys all accomplished whatever you had to in 2017. There's some things that I did. I bought my first car. I got three tattoos this year. I got a bomb internship for my last semester in college. And lastly, I moved out of my mom's house. I'm not living on my own, but I am living with my sister. But one thing that I am very grateful for is that my sister is here supporting me with everything that I do with school, with YouTube. Shout out to you, Mel, and to my brother-in-law also for bringing my ass into this house and let me stay here. I love you both. So let's get started into this video. Alright guys, so I'm going to be using my NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Ginger, you know the drill to carve out the brows, as well as use this as my eyeshadow primer. Because we're working with such a pigmented eyeshadow, I wanted something to be a little bit sticky for the eyeshadows to grab onto. And I'm using this concealer brush from Sephora to apply that all over my eyelid. I am going into the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm using a MAC 224 eyeshadow brush and the eyeshadow pooter and I'm just going to use that as my transition shade. I'm buffing that basically into my crease using windshield wiper motions. I'm also bringing this up a little bit higher because I want it to be the more blown out type of smoky eye but I don't want a very harsh distinction of that color. So I'm taking this NARS eyeshadow in Reamer and it is a pigmented blue. I'm going to be using the MAC 221 brush to blend that into my crease as well into my inner corner. And then I'm going to go in with my big fluffy brush again and just blend out any harsh edges. Add a little definition and shimmer, I'm going to be taking this color called Twerk and mixing that with one of the colors from the Huda Obsessions eyeshadow palette. This is the electric palette and I'm basically doing the same thing with what I did with the NARS eyeshadow but this is just going to add a little bit more definition because there is shimmer in both of these eyeshadows. Now I am going to use the same concealer I used for my brows to basically create a halo eye. And the reason why I'm using concealer is because that it's easier for me to control. And I'm using this straight brush to create it. It's way more easier than anything that's a little bit more rounded so I get more cleaner lines. After laying down that cream base, I'm going to put an eyeshadow base. This is called Ice from the Sephora Editorial Pro Palette. And I'm using my finger to put it on because this eyeshadow has a little bit of a chunky glitter so brushes won't pick up. I'm going to mix these two colors from Pop Cosmetics and MAC Cosmetics. They're basically glitters so the Pop one is a little bit more of a turquoise teal and the Reflex Glitter is basically teal ice blue kind of color so this just gave the eyes a nice pop and I'm using glitter glue to apply it on and then just taking the blending brush to blend everything out now I'm going to be applying mascara on my lashes and I've been using the grande lash lash serum and it's been helping my baby lashes grow now I'm gonna put these lashes on these are from Aliexpress and from Viso free mink lashes in D113. I use unicorn essence all over my face and I tried to be like those Instagram girls and use the pipette on my face like this and let that shit drip. Yeah, it's not fun. It's It takes too long. So I'm going to just apply that on. This is the Radiant Drops from Tarte to give me a nice glow. And for foundation, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Stick Foundation, the Vanish Stick. And honestly, it's not my favorite but it works and it gives nice coverage. Mm -hmm. 
I will say I do love this foundation brush that Hourglass came out with. It's their little kabuki looking brush and it blends stick foundations so good, so bomb. Now I'm going to take the soft matte concealer again, but I'm using it in the color caramel. This is just going to help with areas where I need more coverage, like around my mustache, under my eyes, where my dark circles are. And this just gives me a nice coverage versus when I use a different concealer to highlight my face. So this will basically hide the dark circles and the discoloration. Now this concealer from Clinique, this is their Beyond Perfect Concealer and this is really great because it then this just highlights me. So I use one concealer to cover my dark circles and then another to highlight my face. Don't forget to make sure you pat everything in so that the coverage stays. Now I'm using my Laura Mercier Trusty Translucent Powder to bake under my eyes. Y'all know the drill, this is preventing creasing. Put it a little bit on my nose to give me a kinda sorta snatch nose. And anywhere where I put extra coverage, which is usually where I put around my mouth because again, I do have a lot of coverage there. Your girl's still sick, yeah? So now I'm using my Bare Pro Powder to set the rest of my face. And I learned something, setting your face does something different than finishing powder. So there's a reason why you can't bake with certain powders. Let me know if you want a video on that separately, but I'm using a different powder to set my face other than just using my Laura Mercier powder. This is the eye look, smoked out and done. I basically use a black and the blue and the brown that I use from the eyeshadows on my lower lash line just to give me definition with the lashes on. Now I'm going to bronze my face. This is my favorite bronzer from Becca. Becca's bronzers are really good. Do not sleep on them. They are bomb.com. This is in Capri Coast and I'm using a big fluffy Sephora brush to apply that on. I am now going to highlight my face using this Pro Fusion Powder from Makeup Forever. And girl, look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at that. Using a smaller brush helps you get a more prominent highlight. I just, sometimes my fan brush just gets everywhere. It's nice to have it in a nice precise area. Do the nose highlight, do the tip of the nose highlight. Make sure you do the mouth highlight and then do your lips so I'm a little bit out of focus but this is the LA girl pencil and I don't know the name but it'll be down below for you and I'm using that all over my lip and then I'm gonna be using a liquid lipstick from makeup forever also will be listed down below because I don't know what it is but I will be having all information posted down below for you guys if you want to know what specific things I use on my face this time for this tutorial. I'm now using Dior's Mirrored Gloss on my lips to finish off the look. Alright guys, here is the finished look. The eyes, the lips, the eyes are colorful, there's glitter. Um, let me just fix this hair real quick, okay? Be right back. Alright, here we are. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. As always, I love you all and stay beautiful and let's have a great 2018.